your girl Shine here and welcome back to my channel. Ooh, I don't know if I like this angle or not. You can definitely see the TV in back of me, but hey, how you doing? Y'all might slip and fall. Oh my god. <laughs> hold on, 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 hold on. Oh, my dog. He's waking up. Okay, I'm back. So, for today's video, if you guys saw by the title, I'm going to be doing a little story time. I haven't done one of these since my latest story time. This was like a couple, my freshman year of college, you guys. I'm a senior now, a super senior at that. And I haven't done one of these in a while. And no, this one is not as explicit as the last one. If she's looking in the eye. Um, I'm going to keep on adjusting y'all so I like it. Okay. <clears throat> So, I am missing a movie. <laughs> okay, so for today's video, so you guys saw by the title, I keep on saying that. Shut up. I'm going to be telling you guys a story time on how I am, it still is, a duff. If you don't know what a duff is, a duff is a designated ugly fat friend. And I watched that movie a million times because I can just relate to that girl so much, especially back in high school. Like, I know in a time like this, we don't have to worry about these type of things. I mean, everybody's wearing masks and stuff like that and not going anywhere. But before, you know, all that happened, everybody used to go out a lot. And my, I guess we're going to start with the story. <laughs> and my, like, junior, senior year of high school, things got a little crazy. crazy. It was mainly, I think, my senior year, like, summer or whatever. Um, so, I'm not going to say the girl's name, but I'm going to say her name starts with the... Her name is H. Now, H, she and I were best friends. We played lacrosse together and whatnot. Well, I don't think best friends, but we were good friends. And um, I met her through lacrosse and stuff like that. And she loved to party. Like, she loved to party. And I wanted to meet someone who loved to party because I really like the party scene. And I was always wondering, like, what does parties feel like and stuff like that. Well she knew about it and and plus I really wanted more friends so me and her became close and whatnot and then that summer she took me to a party now that was my first party ever and I was so excited and you know it was great it was downtown um I'm not gonna tell you guys about the party unless y'all want to know about that then I can do another story time but this is all about being the deaf so after the party everybody got hungry and you know how that is everybody goes to steak and shake at least in my town everybody goes to steak and shake and whatnot because I guess I guess it's just like a place to go when you're done partying or whatever, especially downtown. Um, so we went to Steak and Shake and we ate and then we were waiting for our Uber. So we were standing outside and this group of boys came up. And keep in, uh, keep in mind, we were already with a group of boys, but I guess she knew them and I you know you know them by association so i knew knew them too they were they were in a band together i don't think they're together anymore but they were in a band together called i forgot but um yeah so they were in a band together and i knew i was a duff as soon as this happened so these kids i, I feel like they were kids or whatever because they were they were younger smaller and stuff like that and like i don't care that they were kids i just care how the way they were treating me so they wanted to take pictures with h and her other friends t and they was like mm, we don't want you in a picture i was just like okay um so i i mean i didn't want to be in a picture anyway but yeah and then they was like you guys are so cute but then they were just like making sure they talked to these two h and t but not me and i was just like man <laughs> i felt i was the dove and being the designated ugly fat friend that's basically like you're the bigger person in the group and you are friends with girls who are not as big as you and they're a little bit thinner and you know still have some meat on them <laughs> but um have you know nice facial structure and you know nice teeth and stuff like that and you know i don't have all that but yeah so that happened and i was just like wow i'm the duff and man my confidence went down like it's still down like it just plummeted down that night and it continued on when we started partying so we went to the second party and you know parties boys love you know getting twerked on and everything i mean they never they don't look at my face so when i do do that i just make sure they don't look at my face and then um when every time me and her like went out and the group of boys came up to us i felt like they felt obligated to say that I was cute because my friends were there and I was just like you don't have to say anything like just talk to them I'll just stand there because I'm the quiet person I'm the introverted person okay like I'm very introverted and it was just it's it's crazy like oh my gosh I just wanted to tell you guys that quick story like being the tough is just 
<laughs> it happens a lot like it happens a lot like i guess it's my face or i don't know my teeth i do have bad teeth i don't like my teeth everybody said my teeth are fine but i don't like them um is it my face isn't my face being mean i don't know um but yeah but after i saw that movie i could just totally relate to that character like her friends were always the popular one which back in high school they were and then um and that's another thing like boys don't talk to me like they don't talk to me at all like oh my god they don't talk to me at all unless like i'm working or something like that or they need a test answer like that's when they talk to me i remember my first time like i got my eyebrows done they were like oh wow your face really changed and i'm just like <sighs> but yeah that was just my time of being deaf and we went to more and more parties and i experienced that same thing oh your friend's cute like they said it like that and i'm just like thanks <laughs> um thanks for trying um Thanks for trying, you know, because the only reason why they said I was cute was to get to my friends and I just felt out of place and I always felt that way. And then when I got to college, like <laughs> it happened again um, when it was my freshman year and I didn't really know the girls very well, but we went to this party together. And we were freshmen, we were just trying to go out and stuff like that and oh, there's other girls they were twerking and whatnot, and the other girl wanted to twerk on me because she didn't want to twerk on the other guy. So I was like, okay. Did the guy push me out the way? And I was just like, oh, okay. Um, she doesn't want to twerk on y'all. He was like, move. And I was just like, okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I had good times at parties. If you saw my one story time, I'll put a clip here. <laughs> I had good times at parties with my actual friends, but being the duff sucks, y'all. I mean, moral of the story is I was a duff once and I still am a duff and I mean I can't really do much about it like now my mentality now is just like I don't I mean I still like the thought of having a man's but I don't need one <laughs> like you don't need a man to be happy I'm just right now after like all those duff experiences like right now I'm just trying to focus on myself like whole moral of the story is if you were a duff once and you could relate to my story honestly i don't know if this is part one or part two because i don't know if i'm gonna like this one or not but if you can relate to my story then yeah comment down below your dust stories because i feel like they were funny they're funny when i think about it but at the time i was just felt so like unconfident about myself and not happy and not thinking i'm beautiful or whatever i mean at times i still feel that way because of what social media is doing to us and whatnot i mean they're not doing it on purpose but what people post and whatnot and you look at them and you compare yourself that's the thing with me i compare myself to everyone wow i'm at nine minutes give me two seconds Okay, sorry. I have to restart it because my camera, when I record for more than five minutes, hitting on 10, it will cut off. So, yeah. Um, What was I saying? Yeah, just that movie, really, I really related with that movie. And at the end, she ended up with a boyfriend and when I was, I guess she knew him and they lived next door to each other. Story is still continuing. I'm on chapter 22 because I'm 22. Next week I'll be on chapter 23 because I'm going to be turning 23 next Wednesday. That should be fun. I'm probably not going to do much. I mean, I don't know. But yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this bombarded, I don't know, out of the blue story, let me know down below. Subscribe if you want to hear more story times because people are not doing story times as much anymore. I mean, I see Tay Pancakes doing story times and she is so funny. <laughs> She's so funny. You guys should go watch her story. Her like recent story times like they're funny and her old ones oh my god but yeah um so if you can relate to being a duff what's your duff stories i mean you don't have to tell me your duff stories in the comments but i have an instagram um i'll put it up on the screen you can just tell me that if you want to i mean i don't even know if people are gonna actually watch this video like that's the thing with youtube like i feel like a duff on youtube like hi it's your lady it's your girl duff on youtube like i feel like the duff on youtube like it feels so weird because you see all these cute girls i mean pretty pretty girls everyone's beautiful in their own way and i just don't feel that way but yeah and you're probably like is this how you act yeah this is how i act and then if you guys really knew me i'm a really quiet person and I won't talk unless I'm spoken to. <laughs> I'm so serious. And then I, if I'm comfortable with you, I will talk my butt off. But lately, people have been talking. I've been talking to people and they just have not been saying anything. It's like I'm talking to this wall right here. <laughs> and they're not saying anything. It's really annoying. But that's a whole different story. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And subscribe down below. This is not meant to be entertaining. I mean, I don't know. It's It was just like if you relate 
Oh my god, you all are crooked. Listen, I do not like this shirt, but I'm gonna have to buy a new one. It's gonna fall. <laughs> like, this video was just like, we relate to see how other people relate, but I don't know if anyone's gonna watch this or not. I mean, you know, I am black and you know, YouTube favors other races. So I'm just saying that because it's true. <laughs> mm. Um, but yeah, so hope you guys enjoy it. See you guys later. Your local dust is here. How you doing? Okay, bye. <laughs>